In this video from accounting101.org, we're going to go over the corporate level consequences of cancellation of debt under Section 108. What this is essentially saying is that if a corporation is forgived of some debt, uh, at that point, instead of just having a loan, the corporation has been enriched by the amount of the loan. So if they had a loan for $10,000 uh, while it was a loan, they're not being enriched because they have to pay that money back. But if that debt is forgiven for some reason, then it's the same as someone just giving them $10,000 for free. So um, the general rule is that the forgiveness of debt makes the amount of the debt forgiven uh, included. It, it makes, let me say that again, the amount of the debt that is forgiven has to be included in the debtor's gross income, meaning it's taxable obviously there's a few exceptions to this and those are if the debtor is in bankruptcy if the debtor is insolvent if the debt is qualified farm debt or if the debtor is not a C corporation and the indebtedness discharged is qualified real property business indebtedness a section 108 e8 deals with debt that's satisfied by the corporation issuing stock and what that means is that the debt can be satisfied to the extent of the fair market value of the stock.